Are you struggling to buy your dream home and get the property that you really want? Or are you a first time buyer struggling to get onto the property ladder? In this video, we're going to look at how to increase your income multiples when applying for a mortgage. Hi, my name's Erin. I'm one of the directors at Create Finance. So let's get into the video. When it comes to a typical mortgage, most lenders will allow you to borrow between four and a half and five times your annual income. For some people, that may not allow you to buy the property of your dreams. There are some lenders that will now lend you up to six times your salary and some even higher than that. There are a number of factors which can impact the amount that you can borrow on a mortgage. We're now gonna look at six ways to increase your borrowing. Number one, the first thing to stretch your income is your occupation. If you are a professional or a newly qualified professional, then some lenders will allow you to lend up to six times your annual salary. Some of the professionals that lenders will consider are things such as doctors, dentists, and similar roles. Number two, the second thing that can impact the amount that you can borrow is your deposit. The bigger deposit that you've got with the mortgage, the more potentially that you can borrow. If you're putting down as much as 25% as a deposit, this can have a huge impact on the total amount that the lender will allow you to borrow. Number three, the amount of income that you receive can also impact income multiples. So the more that you earn, the more likely the lender will allow you to stretch that income. Some lenders will start to stretch your income from as little as £20,000. But for example, if you're earning more than £100,000, there are lots of lenders that will consider lending you over six times your income multiples. Number four. The fourth thing is a combination of the previous two. So that would be both your deposit and also your income. So by combining both of those together, that can also have a big impact in terms of the amount that you can borrow. So if you've got both a high deposit and income, that can also stretch the amount that you can borrow. Number five. Some lenders, rather than looking at your income multiples, will look at your total expenditure each month. So what they are essentially doing is looking at all of your bills, and that will include things such as gas, electric, water. It may also include things like subscriptions, so such as Netflix or Amazon Prime. So the less that you are spending every single month, the more potentially that that lender will allow you to borrow. Number six. The final thing that can have an impact in the amount that you can borrow is if you've got any adverse credit in the background. If you do have bad credit, it does mean that you've got fewer options available when it comes to income multiples. So if you have got defaults or CCJs or you may have previously been made bankrupt, that may mean that it could impact the amount that you would be able to borrow. There are many lenders in the UK market that can potentially look at stretching your income multiples. So by reaching out to a mortgage broker that has a comprehensive range of lenders available to them will hopefully mean that you can get the most appropriate deal based on your circumstances. By just approaching your bank, you are limiting the possibility of being able to stretch your income. So if you are a newly qualified professional, make sure you check out this video.